In this video, I will be showing you how to solve for the length of an arc, and I will be going over a few examples of this. This is about the point in our study of circular measure where we start to realize how important or how useful radians are. So, to find the length of an arc, we simply have to use an equation which states that arc length, our arc length is equal to r times theta. And what this means is that our arc length, or this portion of our curve, or the length of this line, is equal to r, or the radius of our circle, multiplied by theta, which is the angle of our sector. Now, theta must always be in radians. So theta must always be in radians. And this is a very simple equation. There are only two factors, and that's the angle and the radius of our circle. So I'll show you what this looks like. So let's say that we have a circle with a radius of 3. So with a radius of 3. And we have to find the area when our arc sector, or when the angle of our sector is 2 radians. Now this is very simple. All we have to do is multiply r times theta, so once again arc length equals r times theta. So r, or our radius, is equal to 3, or 3 centimeters. So we have 3 centimeters multiplied by 2 radians, because that's our value for theta. And we get that our arc length is equal to 6 centimeters. And that's the length of this arc over here. So this is 6 centimeters. That's simple enough. I'm going to go over one more example with you. So let's say that we have another circle. Let's make this one a bit bigger. Where we have a radius of, in this, we have a radius of 4 centimeters and a sector at an angle of 1.5 radians and we need to solve for the length of this arc. So what we do is we multiply r or our radius times theta or our angle. So 4 multiplied by 1.5. This gives us a value of 6. So once again the value for this arc length is 6 centimeters. Now let's solve for something slightly more difficult. Let's solve for the arc length of the bigger arc. So that means this going around here. So the first step to doing this is finding the angle of this arc. So we need to find this angle. And we do that using our knowledge of radians that a whole entire circle is 2 pi. So if we, if we subtract this portion, we get 2 pi minus 1.5, which gives us our value for theta. And this ends up being, let's plug it in. So we have 2 times 3.49, that's equal to 6.5, and then minus 1.5, and we get 4.78318, so theta is equal to 4.73, blah blah, this is 4.73, and now our arc length, or the length of this long line over here, is equal to r times theta. Once again, r is 4, and our newly derived theta is 4.73 something. Now let's plug this in once again. We multiply the value for theta by 4, and we get 19.13272, and that gives us the value of our arc length. So I just X out of that and I forgot what it was. It was 19 point something. So anyway, it's pretty simple to remember the length of an arc or the equation for the length of an arc is given by r or the radius multiplied by theta when theta is given in radians. The next part of this video in the next part of this video I'm going to be explaining to you why this equation works using your previous knowledge of using your previous knowledge of circles. 
And it's not really necessary for you to know this, but if you're interested, then you can keep watching. If not, you can end the video right here. So when we're dealing with degrees, so when we're de dealing with degrees, what we normally would do when we're trying to solve for the length of a sector is we would first find the total or the total circumference of our circle, which is equal to two pi r. So that's the circumference and then we'd multiply this by the portion of our circle that we're covering so we'd multiply 2 pi r by theta over 360 degrees now if you remember from our last video when we're converting degrees to radians we multiply this by pi over or 180 over pi so degrees times 180 over pi is equal to the same value in radians. So if we take theta, which is initially in degrees, so we have 2 pi r over 360 times theta, just to separate it, and we want to convert this into radians, what we do is we multiply this by 180 over pi so that so this portion is now our angle in radians and we can simplify this equation uh, using basic algebra so pi cancels out over here if you cut this in half you can take out 180 and you cross out 2 and 2 and what you're left with is r and theta so the value for our arc length is r multiplied by theta